Number one overall pick, Zion Williamson making his NBA preseason debut. Lonzo Ball making his New Orleans Pelicans debut as the Pelicans were in Atlanta. And out the gate, Lonzo and Zion, they start working on that chemistry as Zion scores his first two points in a Pelican jersey. And the next two were quite lethal. Zion scores the first five with this emphatic dunk. Who? If he can do that at the next level consistently, oh man. Lonzo finding Zion again. More passing from the Pelicans. It's Williamson this time inside the Zion. We knew he could do that. It's now figuring out if he can do everything else on the court. Like pass. Zion in transition to Etuan Moore for three. Zion the passer. Okay. We're looking low. One more, more time. Zion this time to Jaleel Okafor for the jam. Look at Zion and the Pelicans. Lonzo drills a three. Let's see if Lonzo can find Zion one more time right before the half with a beautiful lay-in. Zion finished with a team-high 28 minutes played. He scored 16 points and grabbed seven rebounds. Lonzo Ball, he was 3 for 10 from the field. He drilled three three-pointers, and he dished out seven helpers in the Pelicans preseason debut. So overall, I thought you've seen some good signs from both Zion and Lonzo. I'll get to Lonzo a little bit in a second. Let's talk Zion Williamson. This is the first time we've seen him play since the few minutes we got from him in the summer league. Uh, his, his Literally, his summer league was short-lived. An earthquake knocked him out of the summer league. I think Zion showed me some things. I got a lot of question marks about this kid. Number one, He's really a legit 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 and I wonder how does he stay on the basketball court if he's not able to go get you 30, 35 points a game or dominate a game like he did at Duke and obviously at high school. How can he stay on the court? Because at 6'5", as great a jumper and a leaper he is, there's only so much you can do when night in, night out. You're going against guys like Nikolai Jokic, Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns. Look, Zion is jumping out the gym, but there's only so many jumps in that body of game. Put that together with the fact that Zion limps when he walks. I don't believe this dude is going to be able to just jump his way up to 6'9", 6 6'10". 6 Speaking of Zion's height, I noticed uh, that he was able to find ways to wiggle and get to the rim. Again, a little bit more than I thought he would, but I was thinking to myself... Can this dude legit average 22, 24 points with just dunks? Essentially, he'll need 10 to 12 baskets a game. Pretty much all will likely be around the rim. And I'm asking myself, can he do that at the NBA level? Don't get me wrong, the Atlanta Hawks are definitely on the rise, but their interior defense is suspect at best. They got a lot of young guys trying to figure it out in the league. Them, their darn self, salute to John Collins. I just... When you're playing up night in, night out against bigs that are savvy, smart, even like a Draymond Green, who's not the tallest guy, but he's super smart and savvy defensively, he's not going to allow you just to dunk all over him 10, 15 times a game. They're going to make you make some type of mid-range jumper. And right now, I just don't see it in Zion's game. I don't know if he's going to be able to get 10 to 12 dunks a game, maybe 4 or 5, but even that is pushing it night in, night out. I look at a guy like Blake Griffin who came in out of Oklahoma. He missed a year with the torn ACL. And when he got to the Clippers, finally, you know, Blake Griffin uh, pretty much made his impact around the rim with dunks his first couple years until he expanded his range year by year. But Blake's got like three or four inches on Zion. Blake was a legit 6'8", 6'9", or is a legit 6'8", 6'9". Zion is a legit 6'4", 6'5". A 6'5 guy? I mean, there are shooting guards taller than Zion. Hell, there are a couple point guards in the league taller than Zion. He is going to have a difficult time finding baskets that he likes at the next level. The good thing, though, about this Pelicans team is they're playing for nothing. Salute to Drew Holiday. He's a super competitive dude. He led the team in scoring tonight with 21 points. They don't have anything worth playing for. I know the playoff sounds cool in theory, but... I mean, it doesn't matter if this team makes the playoffs or not. The thing is, guys will be able to get their shots up. Brandon Ingram, he had 19 points in his Pelicans debut. Right, guys are going to be able to get as many shots as they want because the Pelicans are really going nowhere. Uh, speaking of Alonzo Ball, I like the fact that he was taking more jumpers. 
Lonzo Ball took eight three-pointers in his basketball game. I would have to go do some research, but I'm pretty sure he never took eight three-pointers as a Laker. So obviously his confidence is going to be better. Third year in the league now. Uh, again, asked to be the point guard of this team. I'm pretty sure Lonzo's confidence is only growing. He made some big-time decisions in the offseason. Like he cut his pops off from the standpoint of the big baller brand. Lonzo's becoming a man, and I think Lonzo's going to show us a little bit of maturity this year. Now, I need that jumper to fall more than 30%, which he well, that's what he was from the field in this game, pretty much on jumpers. But I, I've seen some things. Seven assists, him and him and Zion's chemistry look pretty decent for the first game out, you know, and I think there's an, a, something to build on. Now, I don't know about Lonzo's chemistry with Brandon Ingram. I never was a fan of that, even when these guys were Lakers. But Lonzo to Zion, these guys seem to run well, and they might be the building blocks of something special in New Orleans in a few years down the line. What you guys think of Zion Williamson's Pelicans preseason debut? What you think about Lonzo Ball's Pelicans debut? Talk to me in the comment box below. Thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. Again, the Pelicans take care of business in Atlanta. It doesn't really matter. 133-109 in some preseason action. I'm out. You in the sports, we got you. NFL news, I got you. NBA news, NBA highlights, NBA full coverage. Feature stories, all that great stuff, I got you. We even got a little bit of Madden and 2K mixed in. Subscribe to this platform, and I got you. More quality content on the way. Subscribe.